Hello, welcome to another LEGO video. This is LEGO Set 76029, Marvel Super Heroes, Iron Man vs Ultron. Got this and all the other Age of Ultron sets from this shop, Mini Go at Central. Uh, so if you're in Hong Kong and you're in Central, it's right next to the uh, first section of the escalators. Open up the side of the boxes, standard LEGO small box, but this is pretty fully packed to the brim. Uh, there's actually quite a lot of minifigures in here, you can see from the box cover already. Uh, even though this says called Iron Man vs Ultron, he is not vs Ultron, but vs Ultron's well, minions. Top of the box. Bottom of the box, if I'm not mistaken, this is Mark 43, I think. On the back of the box. So I have everything fall out. You have instruction manual. And a small bag, big medium, well medium bag. Quick look at the instructions. Let's focus. And there we go. Uh, just a bigger image of the cover art. Uh, the background doesn't look like some little European town. Inside assembly guide. And uh, it doesn't tell you to assemble any of the other uh, Ultron minifigures until the end when you put them into the actual machine. And shows you the Super Jumper gimmick, uh, parts list, and a poster for the other sets. Which uh, they don't, they didn't advertise the Jeep with Hawkeye here. Is Hawkeye in the photo? Uh, yes, he is, but his Jeep is not advertised here. But I'll be reviewing all six sets of these uh, in the coming weeks, so stay tuned. Stay tuned for the uh, showcase video if you want, or stay here for the jump cut. So the set is built, and here is uh, Ultron, or one version of him anyway. And um, you have this giant uh, combined sort of flying machine, which is very... Uh, a lot of Ultron seems a bit bug-like with all the antennas and stuff. Um, even in the trailers, Ultron just seems a bit buggy to me. Even though there's no actual bug things on him, apart from antennas and stuff. Because, I don't know, you know, he's a computer, like Cyborg and all these, not Cyborg, just computers, robots and all these other robots that get signals and stuff, but it just seems that way to me. But anyway, uh, you, you, you get this combined thing, it's like a little flying, so look, it's like a bug, it's got a little belly thing. And um, you have three Ultron figures uh, like attached to him and uh, all three of these figures are pretty much the same except this one has an extra helmet and so these are just attached there they're holding these guns which um, from distance it looks okay but here it just looks like the bodies are just holding guns like obviously in the film they'll probably combine a lot better into the machine uh, but here it just looks like someone pulled some minifigure bits and just attached them to the machine so it looks a little bit off. So uh, I'm only going to take the middle one out. So pull the legs out. And uh, this part isn't actually combined to anything. He's just 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 a little tab right there. This just falls out. So actually, yeah, it's probably easy just to get one of the other ones. Uh, the helmet here is uh, in the uh, one of the other sets with the uh, jaw piece. There's no jaw piece on this one. He's got one of those uh, transparent backpacks that comes with like Hawkman and stuff uh, and Space Batman. So, attach in Kawhi. Oh no, it's one of those Ultron uh, soldiers. So, let's zoom in. And, um, hmm. Focusing seems a little bit off today, but. Oh well. So, here's Ultron. Uh, one of them, anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, all of these actually printed okay, all three of them. Uh, the head, the body and, and legs are obviously very complex, trying to give off that uh, mechanical look that you see, we've probably seen in the trailers. Uh, a lot of extra lining all over the place. Uh, the helmets are pretty nice with the little blue thing, jaw thing going on, makes them look extra sinister. And uh, all, the, all the other Ultron figures have that thing, theme going on. The entire plastic is molded in sort of a silver injected plastic, so it's, it's shiny all the time and you don't not to be too worried about scratching it and the back is printed as well obviously in the middle right here there's a little gap in the printing but uh, LEGO has showcased some figures in the past where they've managed to print on that area as well so middle head printing is definitely not too big of an issue for them but they just don't do it all the time because save money right 
But yeah, uh, these three uh, figures are pretty good. Um, obviously you have the good shooter here. So, yeah, pretty decent look overall. And then we have Iron Man, of course. Um, stand there. And here's Iron Man. You probably noticed there's a problem with him already. Um, really annoying problem. Uh, basically, if you look at his uh, his his torso's a bit dusty. His torso's printed okay, and his helmet is also printed okay. Standard Tony Stark head we've had for ages. Back is all printed pretty nice. I do like the light red layer that they put on uh, some of the lining. Makes it look really uh, really complex print. It looks very good, and uh, the bootlegs will no doubt not be able to do that quite well. The helmet seems a little bit different. Um, you've got the black lining printed there. Uh, the eyeshadows are okay. Uh, I, think, I think these dots, got these dots on the helmet, which are nice, and silver print on the side. So that's that's neat. Um, basically the same helmet as the previous versions, just with more painted detail, which is always welcome. And yeah, front, front torso again, it's okay. Hip piece is okay, but then the leg print is not okay. You can see there. Let me see little white lines there. Basically, because the plastic is darker, in order to print a lighter shade on darker plastic, they have to print a layer of white first, and then print the red on top of that. And they misaligned the red. And of course, there's a bit, little bit of miss, missing print there, which is where the uh, round bit ends, which is always a complicated print area. But uh, you'd think Lego, with uh, all their mighty machines, will be able to correct that error by now. This has been going on for years, Lego. Uh, a few things LEGO just don't do. They haven't upgraded the, the printing machines so they can print properly on the legs. Just, they were just like, let's print on legs and, and if it messes up then people will buy it anyway because it's LEGO. Uh, they still haven't bothered with full transparent figures, they were hinting at it, just arms and legs and heads and it's just annoying. Uh, but yeah, leg print is, uh, messing up prints is not called for LEGO. Um, because we pay a, lot, a high amount for these. They make so they're the highest money making uh, toy company in the world. Give us better printed figures. So that's this set. Now, obviously, if your print has an issue on this set, um, if you're like me and you buy all, bought all the sets, uh, you're still screwed because uh, this figure only comes in this set. Uh, luckily, this is on the cheapest set and. This is the cheapest set, so if yours mess up, then you can, if you really want to, you can get a second box. And if you do get a second box, you're getting a lot of Ultron uh, minions, pretty much. Um, the value of this box is actually pretty good if you like soldier units. It's pretty much uh, one of those army builder packs, but smaller, so more, so cheaper. So if you like army builder packs and you know you like the price of this being cheaper, then great. Uh, you get four figurines in here, and look, if you're lucky, then your figure shouldn't have any print issues. Uh, I'm probably going to get like the Gundam red marker print and just draw those white lines away because it's really bugging me. It's really annoying. Uh, but yeah, uh, cheaper set, lots of figures. Uh, the vehicle is okay. I mean, the vehicle looks okay. I just don't like how the minifigures don't really fit in the machine. It just looks weird to me. But apart from that, the Ultron like soldier units are really nice. So that's okay, I guess. But uh, stupid Iron Man misprint. Eh. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day.